And just like that, we're back again. Uncle Bocom. I'm in a building again. What, what do you know? I'm like a freaking vampire. I'm in the building too much. Guys, we look at this. That, my friends, is the notorious lemon brain, aka the seven pot brain strain yellow lemon. Lemon yellow brain, whatever you want to call it. I'm, I'm here at Sheets. I'm on the run today. I'm doing all kinds of running around. You know what I don't have with me is hot sauce, so we're, we're going to be doing Texas Pete's with, the, with this lemon brain. It's, 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 it's basically the natty ice of hot sauce. It's still Milwaukee's best. Some of you don't even know what Milwaukee's best is, but why my burritos seem to be getting smaller and they keep charging more? $8.50? They used to be just gigantic, man. This is... It's going to have to be. I don't know. Wow. That is a monster pod. Oh my gosh, that smell... That smell is citrusy and just a heavy, heavy chin end smell. Look how thick the walls are on that. Yellow brain strain is one parent of the Scotch brain. The other parent is the MOA Scotch bonnet. My friends, that is one of my favorite peppers. Put the, the thing right on there, this thing right Just put it up, up there like that. Citrusy, tropical flavor. Wow. Wow. What an excellent pepper. I know Johnny Scoville said this is one of his favorite peppers, if not his favorite pepper. And, I, and I've never had one. Right, we're going to do a little sass. Hot sass. Like that. It's hot. Trust me. Mm. Brain stains don't pay around, man. <clears throat> Yellow or red. But both of them are really hot. <clears throat> of course, the red's hotter than the yellow, but... <clears throat> for a yellow pod, that's a screamer right there. Woo! Wow, what an excellent pepper. That was grown by uh, Jamie Sarasoli. Thank you, Jamie. Jamie hooked me up. Look at the condition of that pepper. He mailed them to me. They look like they were just picked an hour earlier. That is a stinger, guys. For sure. Look at the oils on. I don't know if you guys can see the reflection. The oils on that knife, man. Serious business.
don't know when I'll upload this video. I've still got, I've got other pepper reviews in my phone. Um, I'm not trying to upload two or three videos a day, because I'll be honest. It's just people won't watch it. It's too much, man. You don't need that much on a bull cow in your life. You know? But anyways, that's an excellent pepper. It's hot. It's citrusy. It's fruity, it's tropical. And it's just beautiful. What an excellent pot. Woo! I got a nice burn going right now, man. Let me tell you that. Anyways, um, I hope everybody's doing well out there. I really do. Um, you know, we'll be back on here. It's still pod season, y'all. Um, we've got a lot of sauces here, view. When the pods, you know, I like to save some sauce for to have your stuff to review for the winter. But, Pod season's at peak time right now. So, um, if there's new pods I've never tried, guess what? I'm going to review them. I think what you'll see in the next, over the next month, month of September, let's say. Well, September and October, I'll be kind of doing hybrid sauce review one day, pod review the next, or something like that throw a little challenge in there once in a while, maybe a spicy snack, you know, growing videos are done, I'm done for the season, um, but I got, still got pods on the plants, but I've shown them plants enough, but you'll be, you'll be, be, be transitioning from pod to hot sauce, sauce season, you know, and then, uh, you know, in the winter, we'll get into it. Oh, I got some spicy, I got some scotch bonnet cheese at home. So I might actually do that with some of these peppers. Um, maybe I'll do a live tomorrow or something. I don't know. Just remember, always and forever. Uncle Bokoff freaking loves you. What?